hello friends welcome back to my channel so guys you're all welcome to my channel my name is jojo for those of you that don't know me my name is jojo so on this channel we do a lot of um cosmetics so a lot of diy so we do things that are um quite affordable so some of the things you do have in your house so we try to keep it in the low budget so today guys i want to show you a simple way um how you can do a nice moisturizer at home so i'm going to show you these things are very affordable and they are so cheap and they are so good because some of them are quite um natural okay so you can get these at home or at a local shop if you don't have at home so you can buy them and you do this so i'm going to show you how to do a natural um hand cream and you all know that this period of pandemic we do wash our hands so often until your hands becomes um dry you feel your hands um i don't know like they are so dry like they are cracking you know so you need something very good for that so i'm going to show you how to do this uh, moisturizer hand cream so let's get started so friends um i will just show you some of the things that i'll be using so um i have here natural gristling so i bought this from the pharmacy so you can get this at your local pharmacy so this one is very good for moisturizing so you all know gristling so i got here um this is cocoa butter so it's uh, cocoa butter so i'll be melting them um like you all know this cocoa butter is high in fatic acid so this fatic acid uh, um, they are there to hydrate and nourish your skin in doing that they help to improve um, elastic in your hands so if you started having wrinkles you know edges hand cocoa butter on its own is very good then we have here shea butter so this i got from the afro shop african shop so um shea butter is um high in moisturizing it helps to treat and blemish so if you have any blemish on your hands um it's also good um it helps to um restore elastic and also for anti-ages and now um, I got my sun sink so this sun sink is for to protect sun you know the UV air from your skin so it help like because it doesn't go into your skin so it help like a barrier so it block any um, sun or any damage like maybe you're touching something very harmful a chemical whatever so it had to um, be that uh, protector then not forgetting my and not forgetting that this is so high in um, vitamin E also and we have here my skin white so this is skin white so if you want to buy if you're in germany so this is the company so you can buy from them so we have here skin white so skin white is um full of glutathione and vitamin c so it helps to repair your skin so if you're having dark knuckle this is so good so if you see my hand you can see this is natural so this is so good i always put this in my hand cream you can also use it for your um skin so it helps to brighten your skin but you have to be very careful just a little bit guys just a little bit so let's get started so guys what i'm doing now i'm just trying to put my cocoa butter so this is cocoa butter i put a spoon of it so they are different kinds of cocoa butter these ones are like the little tablet so i 
I just love them because they are very easy to dye. Right, so now I'm going to put my she butter. So the cocoa butter are like this, they are like this. So just put in the she butter. Now I'm going to melt this in my microwave. Actually, I wanted to do the double boiler but i'm running late so i have to do this video very quickly so guys i've just melted the oil so i didn't do the double boiler like i said so i've left it to cool a little bit so i think the temperature okay so you always have to test the temperature if you have a metal it's good but i always test it on my hand and now I'm going to put my crystalline. Okay. So I'm going to use this spoon. I'm going to put the spoon. So make sure that any spoon you use you have to disinfect and wipe it dry because these are dry product and we are not putting any preservative so. so now I'm going to use the same spoon oh my god before I try it okay. so this is the same that will take your hand from so I'm going to put a half a spoon again. Voila. So guys, when you put this in, try to shake it before it start to plumb. So try to like see how it look. So don't worry, this when it get cold going to be hard so now I'm going to put my skin white so this is skin white this is the company if you want to buy they are in Germany but I don't know if they ship wet white so I love this company actually this is not a very one but I just love them because their products are tested so I'm going to put a spoon of this so I'm just gonna the level spoon, okay. I don't want to have very white hands. <laughs> okay, just like this, it's okay. So you mix. Try to mix very well. This is very uh, full of vitamin C. And now I'm going to put my vitamin E. So I'm putting some vitamin E. Voila. And now essential oil so if you watch one of my videos you will see where i talk about essential oil so like i said last time in my video you use them for a lot of things so today i'm going to use the tea tree oil so i just want to know it's a little bit hard stuff here so um this is the tea tree essential oil so tea, tea tree essential oil is also a um, hand sanitizer on its own because it has normal natural things that sanitize your hands um the both like when you have any wound it fights it fungi you know it's so much so that's why i love it to put it in my hand cream 
so I'm just going to open here. So guys, it was difficult, so I had to use the scissors to pull it up. So if you're having something difficult like that, you can use scissors. I always use the scissors to pull it up. I'm going to put two times the same drop. Then make sure you always cover it back for the scent, the power not to get out. Oh, this smell really good and continue mixing so I just mix 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 and this is my cup that so guys like I said you have to mix the the white is not really the software, but the time when you continue mixing it, you will see. So we just mix, then I'll come back and show you how it looks. So guys, this is the final stage of the hand cream. So after putting it inside this container, so room camera and up so you can see. I had to like shake it for it to mix properly and keep it for some few hours. So this was like one and a half hours and it's like this. So let me try it. So you can see it's actually very soft and guys this is so creamy. So you see, so it's very very soft like normal hand cream yeah guys so you just need only small like this uh, what I normally do I always like to start by rubbing from behind so you know sun cream is like white because of the sun um, thing so you just have to <coughs> Rub it properly for it to really mix well. So, see, see my hands, see how it's glowing. So, I just have to like try to. and then because i want my palm to be soft so you're gonna do that to both hands so now because i want my palm to be soft so if you like you walk so much outside you do a lot with water this hand cream is very good for you Because of the skin white that I put, if you're having like black knuckles, it's also good for you. So, this is always in my handbag. You know, this is always in my handbag. Immediately, I feel like I've touched water, my hands are dry. I just have to use it. Even when I'm going out, I have to do it because your hands are also exposed to sunlight so just do it and it smells so great because of the tea tree oil it smells so nice guys see how my hands are glowing there's no filter here most of my feet I don't do feet I say. see how my hands just light so guys, thank you and if you want something like this, DM me. Uh, we talk better. So 
if you're working outside especially like those who do the capital work your capital work is inside but this cream it's so good because you know you touch a lot of strong things so you're gonna have these soft hands if you're walking on the street you know just to protect your hands guys and if you just want to have fine edgy less hands guys this is so good so thank you and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't bye